Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing my updated luxury wish list. So I have images on my iPad mini that I wanted to share and then I also have the list in my new Chanel agenda which has an entire wish list section. So really excited I'm sharing this with you guys as well as sharing the updated list. I know I've been talking about it for a bit so hope you guys are excited for this. So I figured it best It'd be best to review what was originally on my wish list. And so if you saw my Vlogmas video um, right at the end of 2022, I pretty much just shared everything that I liked, would love to add to my collection. And then I went into this consolidation mode and I don't think, I don't know, I can't see myself owning that many bags anymore. I got overwhelmed with the amount of bags that I had when I did have a lot, which is why I sold so many. And so I think I'm really just refining the list and gonna be sharing things that I love, really wanna add, but then also things that I just have my eye on. And I think ultimately I was just sharing bags that I had my eye on. Um, but with that, I had my 2022 wish list, and, or my 2023 wish list. And so the biggest components of that was that I wanted a Chanel classic flap, which I want to get for my 30th birthday, which is at the end of the year. Um, I needed a new everyday bag. So I was looking at the Sac du Jour or the Uptown Satchel from St. Laurent. I wanted a new clutch for weddings because I will be attending two weddings within the next year. Um, a pair of new Louboutins for these weddings. I'm the matron of honor, so just want something with a thicker heel. I don't have too many heels with a thicker heel. I primarily have stilettos and I know I'm gonna be running around, so. I put the Miss Sabina heels on there, which y'all know I purchased. However, I had to return them because they didn't fit. And I'll get into that. And then I put a pair of everyday wedges, everyday sandals, and white sneakers. So I had the Gucci Marmont sandals, the, I'm sorry, well sandals, yes, but they're a wedge. And then the Hermes Aran because I've been loving the Oasis. And then just a pair of general white sneakers. And so that's where the wish list started. And after purchasing a few things, I refined that list to what we have now. So I'm still uh, wanting the Chanel Classic Flap. That is still my, gonna be my 30th birthday present to myself and I'm really looking forward to that. This is like my ultimate dream bag, so I'm very much looking forward to this. As for the everyday bag, I decided against the Up Down Satchel and the Sac Du Jour just because I think I ultimately was looking for more of a casual bag as an everyday bag. And these were not casual, um, right? And so I think that's really why I went back and forth with so many different ideas. And then, as you all know, I purchased the Louis Vuitton Montserrat BB and I absolutely love it. That's been a great everyday bag. Um, it's perfect for going to run errands and it truly is a great casual bag. So that definitely fit the bill for the everyday bag. So again, it was still on the wish list, still kept it on the wish list. It's just instead of the Sac du Jour or the Uptown Satchel, um, it's the Saint Laurent B or the Louis Vuitton Montserrat BB, which we now have. As for the clutch, as y'all know, for Christmas, I believe I bought myself, I don't think it was a present, I think I got it for myself, um, the Uptown Clutch and I don't know, I just, I didn't use it, I didn't gravitate towards it, I have this in a Hits and Misses video, I ended up returning it. And I really think what it is, is that I've been gravitating more towards super mini bags, and I like the strap. And so, um, I decided to put this Gucci super mini in white on my wish list instead of a clutch. And so I'll probably get that piece this summer, um, so I can use it for a wedding this summer. But, um, that is now switched out for the clutch. So return that and I'll be getting this soon. As I mentioned, I purchased the Miss Sabina heel and I got them in beige and the strap was just too thin and it um, I just it didn't work out. And so I need to find a new pair of heels. I don't know what exactly I'm, I'm going to get. I might just wear a stiletto and just call it good because as y'all know, I got the um, Queen 100s I believe in December from Louboutin. And so 
I didn't add another like pair of blue batons to this because I think I'm just gonna wear those. I decided to remove the wedges completely. Um, I just, I don't know, I don't wear them as frequently like wedges anymore since I've been working from home. And I think ultimately too, that's where it's coming down with these heels is that I don't wear heels anymore since I work from home and I go to more to casual places. So I did remove this altogether from my wish list as well as I'm um, getting the Oasis in a different color. I, with the black and the gold that I currently have, I think that's fine. Um, but I did want to focus on a new sneaker. I think I'm just prioritizing comfort and I don't know if it's from like living in Austin too long or becoming older or what it is. Um, but I just really wanted a pair of like new white sneakers. I have the Gucci A sneakers, which have the classic web on it. And I just wanted all white. And so as y'all know, I pr recently purchased the Louis Vuitton Rivoli sneakers. So I was able to cross that off my list. And um, that is everything on the wish list. I did add my niece mini on here. And of course, y'all know I purchased that. And then that's everything for 2023. So that's the updated wish list of things that I want to get this year. Of course, other things are going to pop up. I have my overarching wish list, which we'll also go over. So really looking forward to sharing this with you guys. Um, on this, I thought it'd be fun to have the wish list and then everything else that I purchased listed out on the back. So that's what I did. And I kind of regret doing that because that that's a, that's a lot and it's only March. So yeah, um, again, purchased the Monterey BB. So that crosses off the everyday bag. I have the Miss Sabina. I'll be wearing, or I'm sorry, the Queens instead of the Miss Sabina. So that crosses that off. And then I got the Nice Mini. And then I also have purchased a few other things like the Agenda Cover, Brazza Wallet, Chanel Agenda, Chanel Agenda <laughs> Pouch, um, the Pilot Sunglasses, the Rivolis. So not on the wish list, but <laughs> um, a few purchases. As y'all see, I've purchased a lot more. So yeah, um, I, so yeah that is 2023. Now moving on to the overarching wish list. So from chanel i divided this by brand and then for category just broke down each category as you all know i want the classic flap and then i would also like the diana single flap um i've had my eye on that one for a bit i absolutely love that bag um classic plot oh my god classic flap takes priority so that one will be first and then i will get a um diana after that that'll probably be 2024 wish list and then maybe like a little graduation present wish list and then for SLGs, I want the single card holder from Chanel. That one to me um, is just more for going out. As y'all know, I have the double flap um, card holder that um, I just use as my main wallet. This is going to be for going out. And then I also want to add a Chanel vanity case to my collection. They have them at my, our boutique here in Austin frequently in semi essay generally text me and I haven't been able to pull the trigger on it yet but um, I'm hoping maybe next year I can add that to my collection and then I want to add the lambskin medium ring agenda as well and then when we're in Portland for the summer I am going to be looking at the sneakers because I just love the Chanel sneakers I think that they are really cute and so if they have my size I might like grab a pair or at least try them on and then for accessories, um, we have the Pilot sunglasses, which I know I purchased recently. So that is everything from Chanel. For Louis Vuitton, um, originally I wanted to add the Nano, which y'all know I just recently got. So I already have that. Um, I exchanged that after like a week of purchases. I've been debating on adding a Horizon 55 and keep all 5055. I primarily wanted to get the keep all 5055. I don't know. I've been back and forth between the horizon um, just because it's just the loud monogram print that I'm not 100% sure of, but I absolutely love it and would love to have one. I just think practicality wise, I just don't know if I want to have like a full monogram piece is my thing. But I do want a 50 or 55 with a strap. And if you, this is going up after the unboxing. Um, when I was looking for key balls, I initially loved this duo if I were to get a Horizon 55 and a key ball 50 or 55. But 
I just don't like the large print and then it has the regular size monogram on the side. That's why I can't pull the trigger on on the go. I just gen, I don't like the mix match personally. And so while I love it up front. I think it's gorgeous. I saw this in person at our local boutique. I just couldn't, I don't know. I just, I don't, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent in love with it. I think that's it. And then I really wanted to maybe get the Macassar, which is the monogram in black but it has silver hardware and so I wasn't a fan. And so I actually recently found the Sac Flannery 50 and I'm obsessed with it. The Vachetta is just so nice on that and it goes really well with my Delcy luggage. So I think for now, um, I don't plan on getting the 50 since I have that one. I think it works perfectly and it's a 50 size. So I think that really covers it. So I am gonna cross this off. And I think too that's um, ultimately why I share why, like I try and go like in depth with my wish list on why I have it on here so that way when I find something else it kind of makes sense. Um, this is the Chanel Diana bag. I think these photos are just going to be all over the place. Um, but I just, I'm absolutely in love with it and that's definitely going to be on the wish list probably for next year. Um, either black or tan or both, but I love both styles. I don't know, I purchased the LV drop flap boot and it did not work, but I still love them. I just need to update these photos. And I think that's the last photo that I added on here. So I think that's it for the tablet. So going more in depth with the agenda piece. So we have the travel. Um, I added, I had agenda, so I wanted the Epi leather agenda, which I recently found and added. And then... For SLGs, I have my eye on the Nice BB. That'll be, I think, once we move and I have a vanity, I will put that on my wish list and use it for, um, in like, use it on my vanity. I don't see myself traveling with it. It's just too large and I don't check bags. And even if I did check a bag, I wouldn't check that. So I wouldn't put full size items in there. So I don't think it makes sense to travel with if I don't put full size items in. But once I have it, you never know. Um, also, I've been I've had my eye on the Voyage GM again. This is something that if I don't get it, I don't get it. But uh, the Voyage GM is a laptop case, and the GM fits a 16-inch MacBook. You can also fit your charger and an iPad in there, so it's very tempting. So we will see on that one. As of now, I already got the sneakers. Um, I try to get the Bondia sandals; they didn't fit. So I still would like to get a pair of Louis Vuitton sandals, so hopefully they eventually come out with something so I can cross that off. But there's nothing that I currently have in mind on that piece. Um, there are a pair of cat eye sunglasses that I've shared on my Instagram from Black Panther that I just love and have my eye on. And then I think maybe next winter, um, getting a Louis Vuitton scarf will, um, will be on my wish list just because I just love their scarves. So I have that. As for Gucci, the only thing that I have on here right now is the Super Mini Marmont. Again, that's for this year, and it's really going to be for weddings and just going out. I'm excited to get a white Super Mini because then I have a black Super Mini, a white, and then my Dionysus, which is more like, you know, that beige-ish gray color. So I'll have one in every color. Um, for Hermes, we have the Izmir Sandal, and then it's a polyespadrille. So Izmir Sandal is the Sherpa sandals. I Again, these are two items that I have my eye on. Um, the espadrilles I just really like. So something, again, that I just have my eye on. And then for SLG, I've seen it and I really liked it, but the constant wallet on chain, it's not a have to have. Again, this one is just really something that I have my eye on, but just wanted to write it down because I do think it's really cute. I don't want a Birkin or a Kelly 25. I would love a Birkin or a Kelly 25. I love the style of the bag, but I'm not gonna pay that price for it, <laughs> to be honest with you guys. If I could get like a Kelly Super Mini, um, since I really love Super Minis, I think those go for a, a key. You can find one for a decent amount. I think that would be the only one I would get, but it's not high priority for me. I don't know, I've just, I've always wanted Chanel and not Hermes, so. Yeah, we have that for the Hermes wish list. And again, it could grow, it could change my mind, especially once I get certain pieces. Um, if I feel like I do want to get that eventually, then sure, but I just don't see myself building a relationship, buying random crap at Hermes. I'm not playing that game. It would definitely be, um, like I would definitely get a pre-loved one if I were to get it. Uh, so yeah, that's Hermes. And then 
for Saint Laurent, I still would like to get the Sac de Jour. And that too, I think I would rather get the Sac de Jour because it's, again, a decent price point. But it fits that, like, tote. And then I could get it in a color that I don't already have. But I love the Sac de Jour. I think it's so pretty. And then I had a card holder on here. As you know, I have one and I returned it. So we just marked that off. But that, I think, is everything from Saint Laurent. And then for Dior. So... These are both just, well, I really want a pair of Dior sneakers. I love their sneakers. I think they're really cute. I don't know why I'm just like on a sneaker kick. Um, that's definitely something that I have my eye on. Uh, as I know, I had a vintage Lady Dior. I actually ended up selling it. Well, I'll have an in and out video soon, but I just didn't gravitate towards it. I always went for my Chanel Surf, but I think I might like a lady dior in a smaller size now i don't know i just really love that bag and it's like opening my mind to it i also saw i think it was the east west bag recently that i really like but just haven't written down so again those are just things that i like and that i did put on the wish list but if i don't get it it's fine the high priority ones are definitely like travel based and like the chanel wish list so yeah other than that that is my wish list, and that is going to be it for this video. If you all have any questions, please feel free to let me know, and thank you guys so much for watching.